Well, that was a good night's sleep. Let's uh, let's go and see Greyman. How are you doing, Greyman? Are you all right? Hello. I'm waiting for you outside. Come on, come on. Let's get going. Got lots of things to oh, do. I just, I just wondered if you needed to dry out a bit after the last episode. Very harsh. Nothing, nothing wrong with drying, giving the uh, tractor a bit of a uh, dip in the drink. It needed a bit of a wash. Okay, it was a oh, bit right. dirty from the previous owner. Right. Okay. Absolutely fine. Okay. I'm sure that's the reason you did it. Right. Well, welcome back to the channel, everyone, and welcome back to uh, Corpy, not Zalonka. We're in Corpy. You're going to say Zalonka. Um, I very nearly said Zalonka. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so thank you for all your comments. As I say, we're still recording these ahead of time. Uh, Indeed. So we we'll are not be able to respond that quickly to your comments and things like that. But So just bear with us for a few more episodes until we've all had a bit of a holiday. Yep, So indeed. this episode, we've, um, well, we're have going to make, we're going to try and do something new, I think. Uh, expand the farm a little bit more. We have the field, well, next to the oats that we planted. So we want to get that created into a proper field. Um, there's a load of stumps to grind out as well. So Indeed. I think that's going to be our first job. So I'm going to make a start on marking out the field, and you're going to back me up with the stump grinder and I'm going to do clear some, the way. I'm going to do some grinding. I'm going to back you up with grind. That's no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Right, moving on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take the tractor, the Valtra, which is still very, very dry. I may add. But I'm yeah. going to take it nice and steady over the bridge because the power of the voucher is just too much for me to handle, I think. Yeah. So, and I'll get some stumps. I'll, I'll grind my stump down. Um, Jeez. It's in your window bingo here. Yeah. <laughs> First 30 seconds. Oh, yes. That's it. Additional points. But I think if we do get this field marked out this episode, because it's going to be a good sized field, then we'll probably. Are you not going to use a worker to do some of the work as well? Because we want to get some other hopefully, logging done, don't we? Yeah, I mean, hopefully yeah, hopefully we can get an AI worker to work within the boundary, but you know, we'll just have to see what, what happens, because it's not guaranteed to work. You know how AI is in this game. Well, I expect complete carnage then, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We're a right mess. Right, so let me just get the uh, allow create fields there we go so i'll make a start on this and then um come back to you oh it's not actually making a field at the moment what's going on allow create fields what's not Unitive. broken uh i'm not creating a field oh it's this no oh, you gotta, no, you gotta put your it's... you've gotta put yes, your tines got to, down i have to put the tines down what a silly sub well not tines you've got to put the um Oh, crikey. Look at that. The... that works. Works a treat now. It does. Right. Well, are you going to. Are you going straight so to we're... a time lapse? Uh, well, not quite, no. We'll just have a bit of a chat first, I think. Oh, I'm trying to do hunt the hunt the stump now. How how wide are we leaving the bit in the middle? Uh, I think about this wide. So if you do that, that straight sense. down then, do you want them me to yeah. put a little bit of. A little strip of grass in. Uh, if we can afford it, yeah. Maybe not actually. What I might do, where are we where are we gonna leave I was looking, yeah, that's about right. Where are we gonna leave some of this really rough ground again? Then I probably will put a bit of grass in if that makes sense. Yeah. Because I'll do that in a second if I what are you gonna do, put a headland in and then then do a bit more for me to find uh yeah, so I'll just stuff. I'll just mark out the head the, the field boundary in effect, um, and then I'll come back and I'll start subsoiling around the tree area so you can see the stumps a bit better. Okay. Oh god. Why are stumps on this game so finicky? Yeah. They're not great, are they? Are you going to make this nice and straight as well? I'm doing my best, but it's uh, it's not so easy when you hit a stump. You kind of get pulled out of line a little bit. Yeah, it's a fair point, it's a fair point. We've got to de-stone this again next time as well, haven't we? Yeah, more stone picking to do. Yay! Can't wait for that. It's not actually not too bad, it's just a bit of a boring yeah. thing to time lapse, I think. It is, yeah. So that's kind of why I didn't do an awful lot in... Was it the last episode? Might have been, wasn't it? But we have found a bit of a... not I wouldn't say a problem, but interesting-ism 
um, our oat and canola field are going to be ready at the same yeah. time. <laughs> We've kind of timed that badly, haven't we? But we have a little bit. Can't be helped. But can't we can't see. We can still leave one of the fields for another time, can't we? In the next episode, yeah. it won't wither yeah. in that time. So should be okay. We'll probably do the oats first, and then we can get that put straight into the flower production. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. So. Uh, and the right. canola, we're not sure what we're going to do with the canola yet, because the best price for selling is about November, I think, October, November time. So, um, it's probably going to be like May, June when we harvest it. So I don't know what we're going to do. We might have to get ourselves a little grain silo or something to store it in. I think that's in a really meantime. good idea. Because yeah. that, that's going to help moving forward for a lot of stuff. Because then yeah. we can either... But actually, one thing we haven't said about so far is in this episode we're going to be selling the massive amount of stockpile of um, silage bales down at the bale. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Point. I mean, that's that's going to be a good boost of cash. So let's see if we can uh, get that ready in time. And I that think might it's then... sitting around 95%. Yeah, I think so. So, I think we should be alright. And we are probably going to maybe follow, if if we haven't got a lot of work to do, uh, I know it was mentioned in one of the episodes, I think episode is 18, and obviously this one is 19. Obviously Dagwin did mention about skipping through as many months as they thought they needed to, if you don't have yeah. a lot of work to do. Now, we will probably do the same, but we are going to try and make it so we have got enough going on all the time. Yeah, as I mean, this is, this is the, the kind of the problem with this series, isn't it? If they're just skipping through months and we're not, um, but then how, how do we how do we keep it a competition? Aren't we? Yeah. So it isn't it isn't straightforward for us really, but uh, we'll do our best. I mean, it would help if around. they knew that we were in competition with them, but yeah, it's a bit of, it's a blind competition. But so was your last one on uh, No Man's Land, wasn't it? Yeah. But we both agree that getting into productions earlier means that we're probably going to put a lot of money down on productions rather than putting it into things like building a farm or painting a load of places and doing the sheds, which I think um, a couple of people have said in my comments recently, but. I still think it's important to get your infrastructure in place in regards to your productions and your fields and then you can concentrate on doing the pretty bits like painting the ground as well um, yeah. and stuff like that because if we can get a decent amount of fields some good productions going we're going to keep making money really quickly which is pretty much what we want to do isn't it? We want to get constant yeah. stream of money coming in there's strawberries yeah done quite well because since last episode we're up what another 1800 1, I think maybe 1600 pounds yeah so I, think, I think it might be more than that I think we, I think we had about 400 left at the end of the after buying that tractor uh, so we probably made 2000 overnight from the strawberries that's not bad then is it I mean that's, no it's not that's what you need though isn't it I mean we we might yeah. potentially we need to put some bees down I think would be another good thing to put down at some point I mean, I'm I'm sort of thinking, you know, we we want to get a bakery eventually to make more of the flour, but then we've also got that opens up cakes. Uh, so for cakes, we've already got the strawberries, so that's not Need a some problem. Chickens. But the sugar, it's the sugar that's the issue, I think, isn't it? For cakes. Yeah, yeah. But if you did, if you did one harvest of a good size of sugar beet, right. And in theory, if you did it with like with course play, and then us both of us leading off it. Yeah, then that wouldn't be too bad, and you had and you had it ready. That wouldn't be too bad, would it? No, I suppose not. No. And sugar does produce pretty quick, and if you sell it to yeah. distributing to the bakery, it would work quite well, I think. Yeah, must, yeah, it's not a bad idea. I'm I'm not sure. I've only ever done sugar beet once, and obviously I used the big Roper Tiger Six thing, which we're not going to be able to afford for quite a while, so. No, I mean, I think I think um, sugar... If you're going to do root crops, you need to go big, in my opinion. Um, because if you don't, you're just going to get in trouble and you spend far too much time messing about with a tiny one 
But if you've got something yeah. like a, a decent sized Grimmy behind a good tractor, then you might be okay. But I'm just telling you what, I think I've got quite a few actually already, but um, I think what I might do, I think if we take this to a bit of a, ooh, there's a, there's definitely one there. There definitely is, it pulled me in. If we take this to a bit of a time lapse. Yeah. And then uh, we can also see how we're getting on with the silage bales. And then yeah. uh, we shall look forward to seeing everybody on the other side, I think. And we've got this okay. field kind of prepped and ready. Right, Malk. Um, I think I've played enough uh, chasing you around the uh, old tree uh, tree island. Yeah. I think I'm quite surprised how much land there is here, you know. I'm going to take yes. this back. Right. And are you going to... Because we're going to try and get an AI worker to do the rest of this subsoil, aren't we? Yeah, I don't know how that's going to... It could end up just subsoiling the entire bit of our plot. So I want to make quite a decent bit around the headland I might actually go further out I think I've left too much of a margin although you yeah think? no maybe I think I have in some places okay uh, well, yeah gonna... obviously I'm aware that we do have to turn combines around and stuff so true uh, true right I'm going to drop this off a minute Right, do we think 916? Do we think. I'm going to have a quick look down at the bales. So I'm, going to, I'm not going to yeah. fast transport, I'm just going to go from the map. So okay. give me a second. Bale sale. Right, I think it is allowed to do that, isn't it, in this series? What's that? Okay, silage, silage, silage. Silage, not quite. Okay, so probably another 98, 3,000, 3,000. So some are good, some are not. 96, 3,000, 3,000. Okay, so if we give it probably till 10 o'clock. Yeah. Give or take, they're all going to be done. So okay, while so... we're waiting. Oh, yeah. uh, do you want a truck? Volvo VNX 300 triple wheeled um, American what, in the truck. sale? Yeah, 71,000. Oh, look at that. I've never really run a lot of trucks on this game. I don't know about you. Uh, well, I did in No Man's Land. I had, uh, I had that Agri. I, like, I quite like the man Agri's. Yeah. With the PTO on them and stuff, so that's pretty handy. Yeah, because yeah, you, you, like you like the sound of the gearbox on that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Remember that. So, um, I think I might square off the bottom of this field as well. I've got it just in a circle, so I might square okay. it off. Oh, oh, one thing we are thinking about doing is cutting down quite a few more trees and exposing a bit more yeah. of the farmyard. Just for, just for a change. Just Cut for a down change. Some more trees. Yeah. Sorry. Um, mainly because we want to potentially put in another production, I think. Yeah. But I think. I don't know, we both think we're missing a bit of a trick in the amount of trees we've got that we think we might want to put another production down pretty early on to get some more money coming in. So if you wait for a little bit longer, probably near the end of the video, then you might work out what we're going to put in. I'm actually I think they going might to work across. out a bit before that, but you know, well, we'll maybe. say nothing. We'll say no. nothing. But I'm going to come across, and I'm actually going to do a bit of stone picking quick while you're doing that. All right, good. Yeah. While you're squaring this off, because we can't really do anything with the silage, can we? Not yet, no. So I thought I may as well. Have I got that turned on? Yeah. I've got the stone picker going. So I'm going to get this cracked out for a little bit. Probably for, oh no, half an hour in game time, I think. Just do a little bit. Probably around the headlands quickly. They get to a very short, quick time lapse of jump cut and uh, get this done. And then we might be able to get some lime down as well, I think. And mm. then we'll get this field prepped next time. And if you want to, if you've got that set up now, I'll trust you to do this bit of painting. All right, down want. the centre. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just um, going to put grass in. I think just, just, just paint it with the grass texture for now. Don't put grass in, just paint it with the grass texture in or any of the patches. Okay. 
you know the patches on this centre bit that have got the crop still I think do them as well if you know what I mean uh, not really well if you come over here well look yeah. where I am <clears throat> let me just sort out this little bit down here okay day see I've actually got like uh, it's not quite straight there oh, that's better uh, 60 come on there we go that's better so where you, are we talking about up, you're bringing up more stones so I've only just been down there oh sorry it's all right I had to straighten so, the edge of the field up obviously all the way down here this needs to yeah. sorting out and then these patches isn't they like round patches where we have harvested but it's still classed as a field so there's one right. here and there's one here so while you're doing that painting just paint yeah. these with the grass with a grass texture. Okay. Because they aren't going to cost so, I mean, much where, the, where there's just meadow grass, I can just leave meadow yes. grass, can't I? Yeah. Yeah. Because that makes sense. So. Yeah. Right. I'm going to get cracked on around this headland, get some bits yeah, done. Don't, and don't forget to pick up all these stones down here. Thanks, buddy. Just give me no more problem. work to do. Right. I'm going to get cracked on with this, and I look forward to seeing everybody on the other side when we should be getting a bit of a cash injection into the farm from all the silage bells, hopefully. Right, Malk, I'm uh, kind of chasing you up. How are you getting on? Um, well, I've set a worker off. What? Um, yeah, I just decided it was better to get uh, some guy to do it instead of me. Uh, I'll probably have a few little bits to patch up. My course has drifted away from the edge of the field slightly, but that's definitely going to make um, make my life easier. Am I going to have to re-stone pick all the areas he's gone over again? No, no, no. You shouldn't go over too much of what you've stone picked. There might just be the odd little bit, but, you know, it'd be nothing major. Right, well, I may as well wait then, and I'm going to... Yeah. Do we want to go and check on these bales and see if they need... Yeah, go on then. Do you want to have a... Right. Do you want to... Oh, I see what he's done. So he's going round the bit you haven't done already? Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK. That's not too bad then, is it? No, it's not, no. Okay. Right, oh. so I've got your tractor. Um, I haven't got a weight. I might have to pick up a dagger weight. Uh, let me just see. Oh, I've got weight on mine, so I'm going to go down and if I need to knock the bales. Uh, I'm going to use a stone picker. Is the spreader full of something? It is, that'll do. It's full of lime, so that'll be good enough. Uh, we got a bale spike, haven't we? Uh, we have, yes. Right, I'm just on my way down to the bales now. Right, while I wait for milk, I'm going to push some bales in and see how this goes. Probably really badly. Right. I'm good at crashing, so hopefully... Oh, not bad. I'll take that. I'll tell you what, let's lower my stone picker. Use it as a battering ram. Oh, look at that! Works as a scoop. Yes. Lovely job. Oh, a bit too much there, I think. Come on, then. Right, I'm Let's coming down spread. here. Um, this this uh, spread will follow lime. You know, it's. 
hardly got any weight on the front of this tractor. Well, I've cleared a few bits in. Oh, well done. Stone picker works right. quite well, you know. As a Is it? shovel. Look. As a shovel. <laughs> it's like right, I'm shoveling yeah. her in. All right, let me get in here with this. See what I can do. Nice. Oh, well, we're was, really making money now. That was full stack there. Right, this yeah. is going to be a problem. I'm going to push right. it. I'm going to push it from the back. I'm going to push the stacks from the back and get them to fall over, and then I can push them from the front. Right, that makes sense. I can, I can do this. I think. Okay. I think I can pick up. Whoa! It's the wobbly wheel. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I ain't got the power. I haven't got the power, Captain. Don't knock them over. I can, I can grab these. I can grab oh. six. <laughs> Spoiling your fun. Oh, okay, I can't then. I can't get in to get those ones. I can get them. Oh, he's dropped it. I know. Oh, it feels like I'm some kind of like, hockey puck. Like, yeah, you know, <laughs> Pushing away the hockey pucks around, that's what that is. Oh, nearly got a spike in the cab. Oh, that didn't go well. Nope, can't get that one. Get this one though. <gasps> Just quit it. At least we've got a positive environmental score, so we're getting some more money again. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. I think it's actually doing quite well. We should really be looking, because I know people are really interested in that. So we'll probably make a... After we've loaded these in, we'll, we'll show our environmental score. Oh, I, think it's about six, I think it was about 62 last yeah, time I checked I at the start cool. of our recording. I think we're going to be alright for our next production. I feel like I'm a bulldozer, I tell you. If I reverse backwards, I can push all these four in, I think. Come on, get the, let's get the turn. Oh, yes. 40 grand. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. All right. So... Two more here. Oh, come on. Keep getting snagged on the bells. 44. I'll let you have the honour, sir. Thank you very much. Whoops. Clipped you on the way past. 45. Perfect. That's pretty good, that. Pretty good. Right. Yeah. Let's see how our workers are wrecking our field, shall we? Yeah. Oh. I didn't think about coming up the hill with all this weight on. Ah, with that tractor as well. Whoops. Mm. Right, well... I think what I'm going to leave you to do... You're going to cut down a few more trees, aren't you? Yeah, I think so. Okay, if you want to cut down a few more trees, I'm going to... I don't know. Could we set this on a worker, do you think? Stone picker. I think yeah. you can, but I don't think it would unload, would it? Oh, no, it won't, will it? That's the only issue. Well, I'm going to take this then to... Probably take this to, to a jump cut. And get all the rest of these stones picked up. And then I will see everybody at the other end. And Mount can crack on and get some trees cleared. And I shall catch up with him shortly. And get everything else sorted out. And we can hopefully get a good area cleared. And get yeah. our next production down, I think. Right, Mount. I am literally stoned up, mate. That is done. Completely stoned? Yeah, I'm completely stoned. Well, not really. I'm sure. not into that kind of thing, but there we go. Each to their own. Um, but that field is fully subsoiled, sir. And it is fully stoned. And we've got a very big pile That's of stones awesome. coming here. Yeah. So. And there's another one in the middle of the... Uh, well, behind the canola field as well. There is, actually, yeah. So I'm going to bring this mm. back... Make it over the bridge okay. without getting wet. 
Um, how are you getting on? Oh, hey up. Well, it doesn't. I mean, I've done a lot, but it doesn't feel like I've cleared that much area. Uh, oh dear. Yeah. You oh, your tractor's about for. to run out of fuel as well, so um, I'm going to have to okay. make an emergency run down to the down to the garage to fill up. Okay, well I'm going to drop this off and then I'm going to go get the other tractor and bring it back okay. as well. Because um, it does need to be brought back, really. Um, do we want to put... I'm thinking, do we actually want to then look at putting a loader onto that Valtra? Yeah, I think so. It would make... It makes Why? sense, wouldn't it? Right, I'm going to have to go so, down yeah. to the garage and get some fuel, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, mate, no probs. Are you coming down as well? Yeah, we'll do it. Well, I was bringing this other tractor back first. Yeah. So what I'm saying, we'll put this. So it does need a bit of pH, that's fine. It says weeds are grown, but we find we've got a direct seed it, so we can sort that. But yeah, that's a good size field, that melt. Yeah, it looks all right. It's nice. I think. What are we thinking? Uh, next episode, put the put the crop in and probably what sorghum maybe. Yeah, I think we need to keep we need to keep some sorghum going to feed that flour mill because that's going to make us most of our money. I think at the moment. So yeah, yeah I think. We'll, and then the oats will be ready in a couple of episodes. So you know, then we can put something more well, something different in there rather than just keep doing sorghum and soybeans and stuff. Yeah, well, I suppose we could, um, if we had enough money, we could even get a punter. But then we've got to get a different Ooh. combine header. Well, I mean, I'd be more, I'd be reluctant to buy a different header for that combine. I'd rather us just upgrade the combine to something a bit bigger, because I think that's now our pinch point when it comes to crops. Yeah, it's defi definitely going to be our pinch point come the next couple of episodes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, definitely. So, that's... I'm not going to disagree with that. I think that's a very good point. But we probably need to look through Mod Hub actually and look for some other combines that are of a decent size and uh, not too expensive. Yeah. I'm thinking. In about yeah, you. so that field is looking really, really good. Uh, let's just have a look at our PF score for those uh, who are interested. 61, I believe. Yeah, so we're currently at 61. Um, this nitrogen issue is something that we're going to have to work on, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I but think we have to do some more painting, etc., as we go through and get more yeah. money, but we've done a bit of testing, and we know it's going to cost us quite a bit of money to just, you know, paint the areas we need to and, and resample them, but we can, we can do that at some point. I think yeah. as long as we're... We both agree, as long as we're positive and we're making money... We're happy, aren't we? Really? Yeah, yeah. So, we'll make all our inroads and do it as best we can. Weed it mechanically, fertilize it, you know, direct seed, all that kind of stuff. And only subsoil when we need to. So, yeah, hopefully, we will get somewhere with it. So, right, I'm gonna. Uh, you're gonna want this the same color, aren't you? The old quickie. Of course. But I yeah, if it'll match. Something. But if not, just do it black and I think that'll probably be okay. It did have a clicky on that. Okay, let me have a look then. Front loaders. I think we could go for Q7M maybe. Well, I, I was thinking actually, let's go for something a little bit, a bit with more reach. Yeah, it gets 140 horsepower. I know we haven't got 140 <laughs> horsepower, but... Yeah, it won't matter. Okay, so you want that voucher? Cool. I very much no, doubt it'll be there. It's not. Okay. Okay, we'll go black on black. <laughs> that'll put us down. Okay, that'll put us down to just where. Yeah, we should still be okay to buy that production. Hopefully. We should just. Um, we should have some more money from strawberries in five minutes. Ah, true, true, true. And then what do we want? A pallet fork? Log fork? Uh, well, log fork, but you won't be able to afford that, will we? Oh, no. <laughs> I just thought about that. I thought we had... Uh... Yeah. What a... um... We could always bring a trailer of wood down. 
Yeah, we could do, I suppose. Um, hey. Get the uh, bank balance back up again. I've got somewhere to put some more because we are. We're gonna. I'm gonna spoil it now. We are hoping to put a sawmill in because we think That's right, yeah. we are missing a bit of a trick here, where the amount of forestry we're gonna be doing and logging we're gonna be doing, obviously on and off camera, and during jump cuts and stuff over the next however many episodes this series is. Stay in the woods, great. It's fast, but if we can get it through a sawmill and it's closer to where we're cutting it down. One, we're not running it around all the time. And two, we can have planks that we can sell and eventually put yeah. into what? Furniture. And um, is that all you can do in it? Just put it from that from carpentry to well, furniture, can't you? Yeah, I mean, because we've got the... Uh, oh, we've got the no. platinum. platinum. Yeah, yeah platinum you know, expansion. We've got like, all the art supplies and stuff like that open to us, I suppose, but... Yeah, true. Yeah, I don't know if we'll, we'll do that, but but certainly furniture. I mean, furniture. What are worth. you doing? <laughs> yeah, well, I kind of uh, <laughs> oh, chopped this down. good on that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that. That was good. I'm going to take this down. Slightly wrong. Right. Um, I can take this quickly down to the shop. This one, I think, and then okay. I will uh, see everybody when we get to the uh, get to the uh, sawmill. Right. Just made it around the corner. Yeah. So let's get a bit more money in quickly. Probably this is probably one of our last loads of vlogs to this sawmill we know. Ah, oh, there you go. Ten right. grand. Perfect. Exactly. Pretty much paid for our loader. Yeah, that's actually that's not a bad idea. Right, let's get a little log fork and then I can help you out getting this yeah. sorted. Right, I'll come back down to the farmers to attach this. And I'll see everybody back at the farm quickly. Well, Malk, that is looking quite clear. You think? You think it's uh, enough room? A chuffing bear, I think, would be what I'm going to say to that. Okay. Well, trailer still here. Still some logs to pick up, but I think we've got. I think we have got enough room now to get the production down. So. Do you want me to? Oh, oh, that didn't work very well, did it? Yeah, if you want to try and load it up, uh, put it in place. Oh, I was going to say, don't need to clear the, the stumps first, though. Oh, the stumps, yeah, of course. Let's get rid of those stumps. If we don't get rid of the stumps, it's going to look weird. We're going to end up here with a bit of a... This is going to be fun to find, I think, isn't it? Right. I started the episode stump grinding. Looks like I'm nearly finishing the episode stump grinding as well. I'm looking a bit weird. What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, look at my tractor. Oh, that's not working too well. Oh, well. Right. Oh, stumps. with your... <laughs> yeah, with your loader on. Stumps, stumps, stumps. Where are the stumps? Oh, they're everywhere. I know, I'm trying to find the chuffing thing. Oh, dear. Tipped up. What have you done? Tipped up. No, it's just, uh, I, I should really have a weight on the back of here, but. You know, it's a bit of fun without one. If you say so, sir. If you say so. One there, didn't see that one, but it found it. And that one. Uh, oh, big one here. Oh, one there. There's a little bit of wood left. Oh, one here. Is it one I can pick up with by hand? I believe so, yeah, from what I can see. Okay. And while you're there, do you want to have a quick look, see if you can see any more... Stumps? I mean, there's done. bound to be there's bound to be stumps we'll miss, but I'm sure the production will sit all right over them. Beautiful. Right then, That's so better. do you think we're ready to... Put the production well, down there. I think so, yeah. Let's have a go. Let's see. Okay. Uh, productions would be a good idea to select. Right. This is... Oh. No. Not happy. Overlaps another object. Oh, God. Trees. It's going to be a stump. Which one do you know? Oh, that collides with player. Actually, move out. Just... Let's just drive the tractor out of the way. Let's try that again. Oh, 
Nope. Still need to climb no. all. Do you know where? Uh, not a try not this a, one. Not a clue. I think I've got rid of a lot of it. I mean, should we do a bit of a forest stump, painting? There's a tree stump here. Just behind my back tire. Oh. Well, do you think I should just paint the ground? Then we can spot the tree stumps easier, can't we? Okay. Uh, there's this one here that might have been in its way. This log. It may be. Well, I'll tell you what. If you you have a look and see where you can get it and see what you think. Okay. I mean, the, the only other thing I could suggest is what if we were to remove all the stumps using Easy Dev? I mean, have we got any... Have we really... Would it be that much of an issue to do that? Because it might be one that's just stuck buried under the ground that we can't see. Oh, God. Oh, I can put it, I can put it in. I can put it bang in. Where we want it. Well, so yeah. when... I, I could only get it to about here, going this way. Yeah. And then if you um, move out of the way, and then the, the actual place to put the logs in... It's just on the edge of the track. Okay, let me just move these out of the way. So I can get go. it I can get it here. Where okay. I thought we'd want to put it. So don't we just put yeah. it down? Just do it, yeah. There. Yeah, that's about where that's about where I could get it, yeah. Okay. I mean I was I'm thinking more about bringing it closer down here, but it doesn't really matter. No, I mean it's really it's level. It's yeah. looking good. We can get around the back stone and drop the rest of these trees. We can put a track yeah. around the back if we want to. It's level in all places. So, okay. let's get some let's get some trees. Let's get in. some yeah, let's get some wood in there. That's the whole Quick. point. Quick, he's just messing about. All right, let's get some wood in, and then we can. Uh, I think this episode's about finished. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not too long. We've been out. We we can edit some of that out. Yeah, that's. You probably won't have seen half the issues we've just had there, but. Uh, so I don't know where the trigger point is for wood, because I haven't I got that switched on. I think it's the cell wood trigger. Okay. I think. I'm hoping this will just this won't sell wood, this will take the wood. But I don't know. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna do this, but I've I've saved it just in case this goes wrong. Okay. No, right. that so seems that's... to have gone out. Well, we okay. didn't get paid for anything, so... Yeah, I've got 12,959 litres of wood. Okay, let's get it making planks, then. Done. I'm going to sell the wood chip, though. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. Because I don't think there's any point in keeping a wood chip myself. No. So where was um, the trigger? So it's... It's there. Keep forward, forward, forward. Forward, stop. Forward, forward, forward. Under the canopy. There. Got it. Sell. It says sell wood. That's great. Kind of not really sell wood, but it is sell wood. Yeah. So twenty thousand liters now in there. Perfect. Right. So, so do you that's think that's it then? I mean, good. obviously we've got a few more bits of trees to put in, which we can do off camera. But yeah, I think that's about it. And we've probably got a few little bits, probably a few little trees over there just to tidy up as well. Yeah. But apart yeah. from that. I'm thinking we're done for this episode. Thank you very yeah. much to everyone for watching and hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, remember to watch it on both channels, like both videos, and if you are new to either side, then subscribe. And uh, we very much look forward to you joining us again. Many thanks for watching.